What's going on, y'all? I'm Mariah Elise, and welcome back to Dear Glory. Today, we're talking about something that is essential for any artist who wants to take control of their career, how to plan your own exhibition. Whether you're just starting out or you've been in the art world for a while, learning how to plan and execute a successful exhibition is key. That's why I created the Exhibition Planning Workbook, a step-by-step -step guide to work you through the entire process. And that comes out today. Today it dropped. I want you guys to go to the link in the bio, and get that book. If you are struggling with exhibition planning, even if you're not, don't forget to sign up also for my free exhibition planning webinar on October 16th at 7 p.m. Eastern. That's Eastern. You'll find all the details in the description below. The first one was amazing. And if you're part of my Patreon, you have the chance to watch it at any time because it's uploaded there. Now let's start by talking about why it's important to know how to plan your own exhibition. In today's art world, waiting for someone else to give you a platform, it's not always the best strategy. Artists are more empowered than ever to take charge of their careers. And that means knowing how to showcase your work on your own terms. Think about it. Galleries can be selective and they have the right to be. And not every artist has access to those spaces. By planning your own exhibition, you're taking control. You're not just putting your work in front of people, you're creating an entire experience. You get to tell your story and shape how your audience interacts with your work. I've seen artists who plan their own exhibition totally transform their careers. They built networks, attracted collectors, and established themselves in ways that they couldn't have if they waited for someone else to give them the opportunity. It's not just about hanging your artwork on the walls. It's about taking ownership of your own life, your own career, and your own journey. Planning your own exhibition puts you in control of how your art is seen and the story that you want to tell. It's a chance to create your own opportunities and take your career to the next level. The first step is to define your exhibition's purpose. What's your goals? Maybe you're launching a new body of work, or maybe you want to highlight a theme like social justice or identity. Whatever your goal is, it needs to be clear because it'll guide every decision you make along the way. For example, let's say your purpose is to raise awareness about climate change. You might choose to work with eco-friendly materials or select a venue known for its sustainability efforts. Your purpose impacts everything from how you select your pieces to how you market the exhibition. Defining the purpose also gives you a roadmap. If your purpose is unclear, everything else becomes harder. Choosing the right venue, promoting the event, curating the show. In the exhibition planning workbook, I've dedicated a section to help you brainstorm and clarify your purpose so that every aspect of your exhibition ties back to that core idea. Defining your exhibition's purpose is crucial. It's the foundation for everything else your purpose guides your entire exhibition plan. Now let's talk about some of the challenges. One of the biggest hurdles that artists face is not knowing where to start. You got the art, but how do you move forward with the logistics? There's so much to think about. Finding the venue, coordinating with the venue, coordinating with the vendors. It's easy to feel overwhelmed. It's completely normal. I remember my first exhibition. It was an eye opener. I had no idea how much went into it from contacting venues to making sure every work was framed and lit correctly. And let's not forget about promotion <laughs> because no matter how amazing the artwork is, if people don't know about the exhibition, they're not gonna show up. How would they? Start by working backwards. I know you guys have heard that before. Work backwards from your desired exhibition date and break it down into milestones and tasks. For instance, let's say your show is six months away you need to have your venue booked in the first month, artwork completed by the third month, and promotions ramping up by the fourth month. Breaking down tasks into smaller, manageable deadlines makes sure that you're not scrambling to get everything done at the last minute. I once worked with this artist that only had three months to plan their exhibition. That's a very, very tight timeline, an extremely tight timeline, and I do not recommend. At first, they felt overwhelmed, but once we built a timeline together, everything fell into place. The key is to give yourself time to breathe and make sure each task 
has a deadline. At the end of the exhibition planning workbook, I've included templates to help you create your timeline so you know exactly what needs to happen and when it needs to happen. Staying on track is crucial to successful exhibition planning. Building a timeline is key to a stress-free exhibition. Breaking down tasks into smaller deadlines so that you're not rushing helps you stay organized and it controls the exhibition. It's very important. Now I wanna get into why it's important for you to plan your own exhibition. Planning your own exhibition puts you in control of your career. You decide how your work is presented, who sees it, and the experience your audience has. This isn't just about putting your work on the walls. It's about creating a space that tells your story and creates a connection with your audience. Galleries are amazing. They're great. I work with them, but you don't have to wait for someone to offer you a space. By planning your own exhibition, you take ownership of your journey. You get to build relationships with directly with your audience. You don't have to wait for someone to offer you a space. By planning your own exhibition, you take ownership of your journey. You get to build relationships directly with your audience. And every show you plan increases your exposure and your credibility as an artist. Think about how powerful it is to create your own opportunities. Every time you plan an exhibition, you're building your network, establishing yourself in the art world and creating a platform for your work. It's a game changer for you and your work. And that's why learning how to plan an exhibition is so valuable. But remember, you do wanna blend traditional rules of the art world with yours. But remember, you do wanna blend traditional rules of the art world with your approach. I personally don't agree with people charging for people to come to their exhibition. I do see people do that. I think it's a mistake. And I just want to disclaim, do what you want to do when you're planning your exhibition. I just wanted to throw that out there that I don't agree with you charging for people to come to your exhibition because I do believe in some of the traditional rules of the art world. But planning your own exhibition does give you the power to control your narratives build relationships with your audience, and create your own opportunities. It's a huge step in taking control of your career. Now we gotta talk about setting a budget. We've talked about this quite a few times, and I hope I'm drilling it in. Exhibitions can get expensive, but setting a budget early on helps you stay in control. You need to account for venue costs, marketing, framing, and maybe even event management or an assistant that evening. By listing these expenses up front, you can figure out where you might save or where you might need to find grants or sponsorships or help to help you cover those costs. I've worked with artists who have partnered with organizations who've worked as a fiscal sponsor to allow them to get government grants to sponsor their exhibition. This not only cuts down their costs, but help expand their audience. So don't be afraid to get creative with your budget planning. In the exhibition planning workbook, I've also included a budgeting worksheet that helps you track your expenses and helps you find ways to stay within your means. Budgeting can feel overwhelming, but with a plan in place, you'll feel more in control and avoid financial surprises. Setting a budget early is crucial for a successful exhibition. List your expenses, Find creative ways to save and track everything to stay within your means. Exhibition planning requires both creativity and project management. The first step is defining your vision. What's the story about your exhibition? What do you want people to feel when they walk through the space? Once you have that vision, it's time to think logistics. Where will your exhibition be held? Who are your audience? How will you get people to show up? This is where your strategy comes in. You need to think about how your exhibition will stand out and how to get the right people in the room. The exhibition planning workbook walks you through all of these steps from curating your work to marketing your exhibition. Having a strategy in place makes the entire process smoother and more enjoyable. Now choosing the right venue is key. Think about where your audience is and what kind of space best complements your work. Sometimes a traditional gallery is perfect, but other times a pop-up space or a non-traditional space, a non-traditional venue like a warehouse might be better. For instance, I seen an exhibition that was done that focused on urban landscapes. They chose a gallery with large windows overlooking the city and their view became a part of their experience. It created a natural connection between the art and the environment, but it was still in a space that extenuated, that made the artwork stand out. The exhibition planning workbook is gonna help you evaluate 
different venue options so you can find the perfect space for your work. The venue you choose should enhance your exhibition and help you connect with your audience. Choosing the right venue is crucial. Whether it's a gallery, unconventional space, or a pop-up space, you just wanna make sure that it complements your goals and your work and enhances the experience of your audience. Now, execution is where we're gonna bring it all together. Execution is where all of your planning is gonna to come together. This is where every decision you made, venue, marketing, setup, pays off. Make sure you have a checklist for everything, setting up the space, adjusting the lighting, making sure the work is properly displayed. You want every detail to enhance your work and create a seamless experience for your audience. In the exhibition planning workbook, I've included a comprehensive checklist to help you stay organized during the setup and execution phases. When you're prepared, you feel confident in your audience and you will have a memorable experience. Remember, this is your moment to shine. You've put in the work, so now it's time to enjoy it. Execution is where your hard work is gonna pay off. From setup to opening night, every detail counts. Stay organized and create a good experience for yourself and for your audience. Now, if you're ready to plan your own exhibition and take control of your art career, go ahead and grab a copy of that exhibition planning workbook today. It's packed with all of the tools and all of the strategies you need to execute a successful exhibition from start to finish. It's 218 pages of all the things you need. And don't forget to sign up for my free exhibition webinar on October 16th at 7 p.m. Eastern, and we'll tackle any questions you have. The links for everything is in my descriptions. All right, guys, thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for watching this entire video. I wanna encourage you to just keep going and keep doing the things that it takes to add value to your life and to your career. Remember, we're all on this road to glory together. I'll see y'all next time. Peace. I'm Mariah Lees.